A knife wielding clown chases joggers in woods. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Charles. And I'm Jared. And we're here to fill you in on the news. Don't forget to stick around until the end of the video so we can respond to some of our favorite comments and questions from a previous video we did. So as the resident clown sighting expert here at IO, I wanted to bring you guys all the latest on a report of two joggers being chased by a clown wielding knives over in Ohio. Yes, following a spate of clown related incidents over the past few weeks, Two men, Patrick Williams and Chase Pryor, claim to have been out jogging on a trail in Newmark, Ohio, when they spotted a man dressed in a clown suit and confronted him. Now, this is just rumours, but I've heard the best way to deal with a knife wielding clown is, in fact, to run as fast as possible in the opposite direction. Now, over to Jared, our resident murderous clown expert, to confirm this. Yes. It happened. So as I mentioned before, yes Charles, this is true. And it is not a good idea to shout at the guy in a clown suit when they're holding a knife and chasing you. So please don't do that. Thanks Jared. The uploaded video was apparently filmed in Newmark, Ohio and begins by showing the two joggers standing on a path claiming we're out here running and I swear to god man, we just saw a clown up over on a suspension bridge, which for some reason they then decide to start walking towards. It's like that moment in every horror movie when you see the main character about to do something really dumb and you start screaming at the screen, but they still go right ahead and do it. So as they reach the entrance to the suspension bridge, we see in the distance what appears to be a guy in a clown suit walking away from the joggers. After a lot of swearing amongst themselves, one of the guys shouts out to the clown, Yo, WTF man, it's 7.30 in the morning. Now first of all, I don't recall anybody asking anybody for the time and secondly that's a really rude way to go about it he then goes on to say have you heard about all this shit? people are freaking out about this probably not the best idea to yell at a clown with a knife clearly upset by the rude interruption to his morning stroll across the suspension bridge the clown stops turns around and then slowly starts to walk towards the two joggers it's at this point the cameraman notices yo Patrick he has a knife at which point the two guys turn and run provide us with some quality Blair Witch style footage accompanied by some brilliant swearing now now you have to ask yourself, would the two guys be in this situation if they hadn't approached a complete stranger who was carrying a knife and shouted, yo WTF man? Yeah the first thing you learn in clown handling school is not to shout at them when they have a knife. Big no no. Anyway the footage continues with the two guys running from the clown and at one point they turn around to see the clown sprinting after them wielding the knife. Basically the stuff of nightmares. Posting the footage to Facebook with the caption, well this morning I had a rather traumatizing experience. Saying, we had no idea this would happen when we started our run. What else is really interesting to me is that there isn't really a police report about this, but they for some reason uploaded to Facebook. So it should be real. The video was filmed by the YMCA in Newmark on a bike trail heading towards 21st Street. Not much more is known about what happened with the clown, but we can assume the guys made it out alive as the footage was posted to Facebook. This video follows in the wake of several clown spottings and arrests made in various cities over the US. Is this guy just a copycat or is he the real deal? And what do you think he was doing out in the woods? Several people have commented on the video bringing up the fact that it does look a lot like a hoax. One YouTuber user saying, this is so obviously set up that seeing people actually believe this shit makes me lose all faith in humanity. Sounds like this guy has a thing against people being chased by clowns. Or maybe he just doesn't believe every video he sees on the internet. So tell us guys, what do you think? Is this a real clown sighting or is it just a hoax? And what would you have done in that situation if you saw a clown with a knife chasing you? I hope hey. run. <laughs> You think so, right? I hope so. <laughs> anyway, thanks for sticking around because now we go and read out some of your comments. But with that being said, if this does turn out to be real, I don't mean to make fun of it, but it just doesn't seem like it's real. Praise that you should look at. <laughs> so first up and extremely relevant, Pitch Skull Black asked, that creepy clown that was arrested in the woods not too long ago. Are you sure it wasn't a Slipknot member? Well, I don't I don't think it was probably a Slipknot member because I'm pretty sure. You know, being a successful band that has won Grammys, they wouldn't spend their time dressing up in their costumes and chasing people in the woods. But again, a few of the members uh, have left and other members have joined. So maybe it's like an initiation to chase people in the woods with knives. Maybe the people that left the band are feeling like lonely, they're not a part of the band anymore and they're chasing people in the woods with the knives. It could just be like a collab between Slipknot and Insane Clown Posse, just like out causing mayhem See? in the woods. See, there's so you many possibilities know, here, guys. You never know. There are so many possibilities. I don't want to rule anything out. Um, 
But uh, it, it, this video has to be real. It's because... def definitely real, man. Like, no way it's not yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. I especially like how when they, they first spot the clown, he slowly walks towards him in a really creepy... Yeah, yeah, like they do in horror films. Yeah, and then he starts running all of a sudden. Oh. It's like, whenever I chase somebody, I normally start by slowly walking after them, giving them a chance to run away, and then I chase them. Secondly, Asma Nega asked us, Charles and Jared, what's your favorite dessert? Okay, uh, but what's your favorite dessert, man? Come on. Uh, I don't mind. like chocolate cake. I, okay. but, like, I'm, sometimes I'm in the mood for chocolate, sometimes I'm not. I'm not like a huge ice cream guy. I never liked it. It's got, like, if it's chocolate cake, it's got to be done just right. Like for me, but not be pie. Do you know what that is? No. You've never heard of it, okay? It's like bananas, toffee, and cream in a pie. The Actually, best thing ever. I take back what I said about ice cream. I like banana splits. Bananas. Banana guys, that's what it is. They're, they're solid, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay away from any knife wielding clowns, and we will see you in the next vid. And just a little shout out to any clowns that want to come after us. That's right, power of explosion.